Okay, rising my people, man. I know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate all y'all who've been tapping in, running up, and subbing up, bro. And if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you always notified, man. We make posts, we upload at least a couple times a week. Man, go ahead and like the video too. It helps the community grow, helps us grow, and helps other people see this type of content. And those who want to be a part of this can go ahead and be a part of that. So, with no further ado, let's get right into it, man. Sound it out. Does it sound familiar? This is why I tell people to be careful what you're watching and what you allow your kids to watch. Because Nickelodeon is very much a part of the Illuminati. You can pause to read this where they had spoke about them using the eye, all-seeing eye, in Thanksgiving. They did the all-seeing eye a lot in Spongebob. There's it again and again, and there it is in Dora. Now keep in mind, all of these streaming platforms, including these entertainment industry networks, are used by the Illuminati, exactly. And they all follow one god. Not to mention Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney are used to groom kids. Symbolism the kids gotta ingest is crazy. Ain't no way, bro. Bro, I don't even know what to say in that one. Because it's like, ain't that like some dominatrix stuff? Ain't that what that's called? I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, let me know. But either he ain't human. And if he ain't human, we know that. We already knew. We, we, know, we, we wouldn't be shocked if he wasn't human. But then let's just say he was human. And he just wanted to try that and experience that, bro. His pain tolerance is at a crazy level. Who gets piercings and gets hung from a ceiling literally right after? And all you got is that little tight rope. And you you singing. Bro, you a strong individual if you human and you can handle that. But who knows? Could be a robot. Could be a skin suit. Could be a reptilian. He could be all types of things. But whatever it is, that is beyond me. And it is super weird, bro. Straight up. We back. See, these people got their phones out. They just as sick. Anybody tell them that ain't cool? Everybody knows something's up. Everybody knows. That is not normal. Everyone is looking up, wondering why the sky is split. Look. 
Are those fireworks? First of all, she's saying she don't know. You know what that is. You just don't want to say it on TV. But second of all, I'm convinced that that space is water above us. I'm convinced that that's water, bro. It look like they swimming. That's what it look like to me. And they say it's a fleet of UFOs. That's what I would probably say. But when she keeps saying, what is it? Is this fireworks? Come on, bro. Stop sounding so... I don't even want to say that because it's, it's not right for me to be putting that type of energy on nobody being like bro you dumb you this so i'm not even gonna come at her like that but she gotta sound a little bit more intelligent than that but then again maybe that is her perspective and maybe she truly believes those were fireworks so i can't judge i can't say nothing i can't come at her like that but i mean my reaction though is just like come on bro you know what those is like yeah come on stop playing crazy stop playing dumb like we know that's not normal but like again, like I said, to me, I'm convinced that that's water above us in the firmament. And yeah, it looked like they swimming. It looked like they were swimming through it. That's what it looked like to me. But we know there ain't no fireworks. Come on, let's stop being dumb here. Let's 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 start let's start really calling it for what it is. Hell, get that kid to be quiet. Ain't nothing happen yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, they turned up. Bro, look. Hey, people was trying to come for me for saying I said Trump was a racist, bro. Okay, look. I have no problem with y'all voicing y'all opinion, but when you start coming with the insults or disrespecting my opinion, I don't want to talk to you, because we can't vibrate at the same level. Tell me your differences, I'll tell you my differences, and then we could go from there. But when people try to be like, bro, explain yourself, who are you for me to explain myself to you? Straight up. But if you come at me respectful and you be like, hey, bro, I don't think he a racist. Why you think he a racist? Let's have a conversation. I'm always open for that, but if you come at me with your energy off, I'm not having a conversation with you. Why? Because you emotionally led, emotionally led by your conversation. You're not logically led. You get what I'm coming at? But yeah, I think it's kind of funny. I mean, hey, oh yeah, let me say this. Just because I don't like Trump, don't mean I like Biden. Straight up. I don't think, I don't, and, and another thing, I don't care that he gave money to black people. If you think I care that he's giving money to the black community, if you think that matters to me, you don't know me and we don't vibrate at the same level. Money don't move me, bro. If it would've, I would've sold out and sold my soul musically before doing a YouTube channel to give the truth. Let's make it make sense, bro. Math ain't math. But that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is I don't rock with none of them people in that political party. I just don't. I'm not blinded and distracted by the political and the politics. I'm not. I'm not. I'm talking about the real over here. So, if you like Trump, door is open. If you like Biden, door is open. But just know I don't rock with neither one of them. So, if that make you want to leave, you ain't got to voice it. Just go. But if you want to still stay, go ahead and stay. But I do think it's funny he get a mug shot. I do. It'd be funny if Biden got one. It'd really be funny if Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, whatever you want to call her, got one of those too. I'd be weak. But, like I said, you come at me in the comments, make it respectful. I'll have a conversation. You make it disrespectful and you show me you one of those, 
where you can't come to my neighborhood because you one of those, yeah, then you got to move around because I ain't really going to, I ain't arguing back with you. But it is funny they celebrating like that. The free citizenship to African Americans. That offer free citizenship to African Americans. Number five, gun. The right of a bond law allows people of African ancestry to live in the country without applying for a visa or work permit. Another method is via the dual citizenship law of Ghana. Number four, Kenya. In 2018, Kenya announced its consideration to grant citizenship to black Americans with ancestral ties to the country. Coming at number three is South Africa, which announced its decision to grant citizenship to black Americans. This decision is seen as a powerful step towards righting the wrongs of apartheid. Number two, Zimbabwe extends an open invitation to black Americans seeking to rediscover their roots or forge a new path. One, Nigeria. Nigeria's decision to extend citizenship to black Americans is to acknowledge the shared heritage that binds the country and its people abroad. These are... Shout out to the motherland. I just finished running my plastic to fuel reactor behind me here. Let's see some of the fuel I got out, yeah? Look at that. Yo. That's from plastic. Yo. Oil. Gasoline. Gasoline. Plastic. Oh, Empty, barely anything left in there. I'm not just starting on the solar, right? So, plastic, gasoline made plastic. from plastic. Let's go ahead and put it in. Pr protect this boy. Okay. Oh, look. There we go. It's in. There we go. And I'll put this on full choke. Pull it a couple times. If it doesn't start, we'll just take it off choke. Maybe half choke. Run it. Let's see. Yo. Let's see. He made gasoline from plastic. What? Oh yeah, baby. Yo. Oh yeah, baby. Get burned, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Get burned. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go. Get burned, man. Gasoline from plastic. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. 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 let us go gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel out of plastic waste using microwaves. Whoa. Now, I've recently got in my unique design patent pending, and everybody's telling me, yeah, you gotta make a statement. So I say, why not? Keep this man safe by any means possible. Bro, you know that if he just created plastic, what's he called it, plastiline? Ain't that what he called it? The plastic made the gasoline? Bro, keep him safe because do you know? Do you know? We wouldn't even have to, yo. They 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 take him out quick. Cause you heard about the man that uh, used how how he used water to start cars or something like that, right? And he ended up gone or missing or something. So yeah, bro, keep that man safe. Keep him safe by any means, cause they'll come for him quick. But I'm going to get this video out to y'all, and y'all get this video out to the people you know, and yeah, keep this man safe, but if he wasn't safe, let's just keep the message going. Let's keep the message going, because that's something that need to be, need to be, uh, yeah, because I'll try that and try it on the car and see if it worked, and if it worked, I wouldn't tell everybody like, hey, bro, I'm over here doing this, but I'll be doing it though, stacking that cash up, ain't I, I ain't going to be at no gas station no more. Sometimes you'll look outside and you'll see this golden sun in the sky. And it's not the sun, it's planet Nibiru. And then sometimes you'll have the real sun in the sky. Nibiru is a planet, it's a sun, it's a spaceship. And the Rubians out here and they're cleaning up the sky. And I've been speaking about this for months. I told y'all, look, you got all type of beings here that's a part of the Galactic Confederation. And they got different jobs. Like the Nerubian's job is to go in the sky and clean up all the oxygen and all the more jealous out of our sky that these that these invaders put in our air. And that's what the fuck been going on. So if you're going to feel the planet warming up, you're going to feel it being harder to breathe right now because your avatars, everybody's used to breathing oxygen when we're supposed to be breathing hydrogen. And I've shown this before with DNA links and stuff like that and how it look on a chart. DNA, which is really DEA, and how it's three of them and how you got the little links. Those are hydrogen links. Originally, we breathed hydrogen on this planet, on this realm. So, you got to now understand that we are going to a pole ship. 
Then, like I said, it, it didn't just start. It's been going on. And the energy is is going back to that warm, you know, to that to that heat that we never felt in this lifetime because, you know, you, they took the planet off. <clears throat> so if you got no real melanin, all this new heat going to be hot to you, but you can take it though. And you'll notice the longer you stand out there in it and try to meditate there to something, you'll really be able to take it. And it's going to feel kind of good to you, no matter how hot it is, it's going to feel kind of good. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But if you don't have neuromelanin, you can't take this shit at all right now. Motherfuckers is falling out and dying. Okay, first of all, I'm going to say, free my guy Jamal Rashad. Some of y'all gonna come at me in the comments like, bro, did you know what he did? You know what he did? Do you know what he did? Or is you told what he did? Did you read what he did? Do you know for a fact he did that? Because the people who gone, the people who was once watching him and supporting everything he said until they heard that he did what he did to end up behind the walls is the same people if I make a mistake or if they say I did something because I'm giving y'all too much information, you the same person that's gonna turn your back on me and forget all the information that I was giving y'all too. You gonna just believe what you was told that I did, but you ain't never get no evidence or nothing. Now I'm not saying he innocent. I'm not saying he guilty. I don't know. So I'm not gonna judge this man or not shout him out because of something somebody else told me he did. I'm not built like that. I'm not. Until I see some evidence, then I'm gonna be like, hey bro, yeah, he did that. I can't rock with that. I can't support it. But yeah, what the allegations is definitely a touchy subject, some I don't condone nor support. But if I don't know if the person did it and there ain't no evidence, I'm not gonna throw him in that category. I'ma still keep my eye on him though. I'ma still look at him like, hey bro, I don't know though. Like yeah, but I'm not gonna judge him nor turn my back because if it ain't true and I was rocking with him from day one, when he was giving me positivity, I'm not gonna switch up on him because of something somebody else told me. Especially knowing how they do people who give the truth. So again, if you're doing that to him, and you know that you did that to him, I don't think you need to be here, because you're going to do that to me if they lie on me. If they say I did something based off me giving you this information, because you a person I shouldn't even be giving the information to, because if you if you know about the book, either you a traitor or you Judas. I'm not Jesus, and I'm not going to still cut bread with you. That's not what I'm going to do. If you're going to backdoor me, you got to move around, because... You get your head knocked off before you backdoor me. I'm just telling you that now. Straight up. But with the positive energy, let's continue to go forward. But free Jamal Rashad, because I don't think he did what he did. Not giving that much game to go touch a kid. Move around, bro. Let's go. Free Jamal Rashad. The Denver airport undergrounds are no longer a mystery. Yes, you heard that right. About three weeks ago, Jeffrey Donson, a man from Ohio, embarked on a mission to uncover the hidden depths of the airport. Jeffrey knew the existence of five underground levels closed to the public. Determined, he prepared a plan, creating a fake badge and construction vest. From Ohio to the airport staircase, Jeffrey's anticipation grew, but upon reaching the underground levels, a closed door blocked his path. Determined, he decided to wait for the perfect moment when someone would open the door from the inside. Three hours later, and after almost giving up, his persistence paid off as someone finally opened the door from the inside, granting him entry. What Jeffrey discovered inside will leave you speechless. He discovered a vast laboratory with water containers with animals and humans. After a brief exploration, Jeffrey knew it was time to leave. When he got home, he posted pictures of his finding online, but within minutes, they were taken down. Despite numerous attempts to locate Jeffrey for interviews by the media, he vanished without a trace. Subscribe for part two. But did you know that? Project Blue Beam. I don't know what y'all think. Hope disappears into thin air on live TV. Ha. 
hologram, bro. Playing. Now at PM Flight 914, traveled 37 years into the future. In the summer of 1955, passengers boarded a plane that took off from New York to Florida. The flight was only supposed to take three hours, but once it was over the Atlantic Ocean, the plane disappeared off the radar. Without a trace, hours passed, and the rescue team was sent to find the plane, but their efforts were futile, and it was later assumed that Pan Am Flight 914 had crashed. The airlines declared the case closed, until 37 years later, in Venezuela, when an air traffic controller, Juan de la Corte, identified a mystery plane claiming to be Flight 914, requesting permission to land in Miami, Florida. The authorities were called, and the plane landed safely. However, after realizing what year it was, the captain, still in shock, yelled over the radio to stay away, frantically started up the plane, and took off into the horizon, and was never seen again. That is why many people are wondering. If many people are wondering what? Maybe they time traveled? I was thinking that. Maybe he time traveled. But I don't know. That that one's kind of that one's kind of weird. Y'all believe that story? I don't know. Like I said, you can't believe everything you see or hear. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That one's kind of sketchy. That one kind of weird. Again, y'all let me know what y'all think. Cause with this one, I'm not quite sure. I only and now only idea I can come up with is that it, he time traveled. That that plane time traveled. That's the only thing I can think of. Y'all something, man. I just get tired of seeing certain shit, man. And when you woke, man, you know what, what the business is, man. Our ancestors did not have no religion. I'm talking about our ancestors from way back, like before slavery. We the gods of the planet. This our shit. This our motherfucking land. This our everything. This our motherfucking planet. I ain't racist or none of that, but religion was forced upon our people during slavery. You know what I'm saying? We got our people got caught sleeping back in the day. Why they burned our houses down and shit like that back in the day and killed our people all and enslaved us, man. We got caught sleeping. Like I said, we the God, but it's, it's some deeper shit to that. Like a lot of y'all already know. You know about y'all cool and you know what I'm saying, things <laughs> like that. The big head what happened back in the day. But religion was forced upon our ancestors, man. Like that Bible. Certain things in there is true. Certain things done happen in there. And certain things is happening and finna happen. So like Revelation and uh, what's the other book? I know Enoch and I think John. Like them right there. That's the real shit. Like other, other shit, man, is put there to deceive you. To put you in fear. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, the God y'all worshiping is in league. The jealous God. He the one called that flood to kill all them people back then. The type of shit. Came down here and created a, a slave race. You know what I'm saying? We was a different type of being. But they mixed their DNA <laughs> with us and made us into what we is now. Homo sapiens, right? So, uh, I'm just, I'm just breaking it down a little bit. I ain't finna get into that too deep. I ain't trying to offend nobody. I'm just trying to put the shit out there. But those that know, we know. Right? But the Anunnaki, those that were sent down by Anu to the planet Ki, Anunnaki, right? The real name of the planet Ki or Tia, man. Like, how far you go back in history? Like, man, you go to another, like a being from another planet, you say Earth, they'll look at you crazy like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I'm saying? You say key or tear, man, they'll know. Like, okay, you from there. You say earth, man, they so, they be like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Type of shit. But uh, that's on a whole other level, man. That's just for my spiritual beings, man, that know what's up. It's just, man, so many people brainwashed down here, man. Y'all believe what them people taught y'all, man. They brainwashed us since we were young, bro. And it's crazy, cause so many people not tapped in because they worshiping the wrong thing, they believing in the wrong shit, and they call the people that like us. They say we crazy, the ones that woke. They say we crazy. Oh, we evil. We we we. You know what I'm saying? Like we fucking crazy or something? Nah, man. Y'all fucking crazy. 
Oh, man. Let me get up off that, though. All right. Hey, yo, look. To my non-black people, non-African Americans, non-melanin beings, if y'all hear somebody say black man is God or the black woman is goddess or the black woman is earth, she our creator, we not saying we don't like other races. That's not what we're saying. That's not saying that we're racist. That's not what we're saying. We not like those people who once enslaved us. There's a saying. The worst thing God gave black people was compassion. The reason why is because we forget when we getting done wrong by other races, but we ain't gonna forget when it's ours. If one, if another black person come up over here and say something wild, we ready to go catch a hundred years behind that. If he from another area, we willing to catch a hundred years behind that. But if a cop harm one of us, we not gonna go harm them. We not gonna go after them like that. It's cause we got like compassion. And I heard that before. The worst thing God gave black people was compassion. Cause we gonna let other people get away with doing things to us. When we say black man God, or the black woman is the goddess, we not saying we hate anybody. We bigging ourselves up. What's so wrong? What's so bad about that? I get some of the spirit, the religious people who are gonna say, man, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. But you don't say nothing when we call ourselves a nigga or something like that. Or we say we a gang member. We be like, hey, bro, I'm a blood or I'm a crit. Like, y'all cool with that. But when we say, hey, bro, I'm a god. I'm not saying I'm the god. I'm not saying I'm the number one, but I am a god here on earth. Everything I can create here on earth can be positive or it can be negative. But then the Bible say, you know, we made in the image of Lord. Okay, if we made in the image of Lord, why can't we follow that wholeheartedly? Why can't we say, you know, okay, there's God. He created me to be a God here on earth to create positivity and light and follow what he do. Be one of his soldiers. I follow him. Why we can't be like that, though? Why is that such like a stretch? I'm asking the religious people. Or the non-melanin people who think when we say we a god or a goddess that we disrespected them. I'm asking, like, for my people. We want to know that. We want to know why is that such a... Why is that such an insult to anybody else that we bigging ourselves up? I'm curiously... I, I really... I'm really curious. I just want to know because when he say that, I know somebody's going to be like, we in the end times. He's not supposed to be saying he's a god. Okay, then what is he supposed to say he is? Wait, okay, if you say he's supposed to say he a man, okay, cool. But if you saying he not supposed to, when, he, when you hear these rap songs or you hear this younger generation and we refer to ourselves as something other than that, that might vibrate lower, why y'all don't have a problem with that? Mmm, that's a good one, ain't it? Hey, these are conversations we be having as far as when we start talking positive and the, re the, the, the reaction we get from other people, this is what we ask each other. Why they so mad when we say, if we say we a nigga, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't mad about that. They want to repeat that. But when we say we a God, they don't want to say that. Why is that? We can't, we can't want to be the, one of the best. We can't, one of the, we can't be one of the creators. Oh, we can't. Maybe you the problem. Quick thought. I want to talk about the power of I am again. I am in Hebrew means uh, I will be. So when you hear the Bible speaks about I am, says I am sent me. I am says me, I will be. So every time anybody speak I am, you speak in Hebrew for you will be. So if you say I am sick, that means you will be sick. If I am whole, it means you will be whole. If I am happy, that means you will be happy. That's why in the Bible, Joel, in Joel 310, it says let the weak man say I am strong. Everything you say after I am, you become. I keep telling everybody this. You can't say I'm weak. You can't say I'm tired. You can't say I'm I'm uh, hungry. You can't say I'm starving. You can't say I'm dead. I'm, you can't say none of those things because whatever you speak, you will be. That's the power of us. And the life and death is in the power of our tongue. So we got to be mindful of how we speak and what we speak. Use your power right, wisely and correctly. Use I am with your 369 method. Straight up. When you meditate. Let's talk about digital ID. You know, we've all had those people that when you mention it, they say, Bro, everything's already digital. You do your banking online and everything. What's the big deal? And that's exactly how the system has brainwashed you to think about it. Because the truth is, it's much more than just your identification that's going down digitally. It means that they're going to get rid of the entire monetary system as we know it and replace it with digital currency. 
meaning 100% control. But when they start pushing the climate change bullshit, and you go to the butcher and would like to buy a little too much steak to fill your freezer, they're just going to tell you that red meat increases your carbon footprint too much, and you're not allowed to do that. Next thing you know, poof, you can't access your funds. Maybe you want to put gas in your car twice in a week. Nope, not going to allow you to do that shit either. So this is the entire problem that we've been trying to explain to you about digital ID, because we all know that it is just the start to something really fucking sinister. This will be the birth of full society control worldwide. Immediately after that comes your social credit score. Then what are you going to do? All you have to do is have an opinion and they just shut everything off. Just like that, you no longer exist. You can't feed you, nor your kids, or your family. Please smarten up. And believe me, the terms and conditions that you'll have to follow to get yourself out of the hole, promise you will fucking suck. For all those who don't see this as a big problem, give your head a shake. Wake the fuck up. Okay. Do y'all think, and this how, this, sometimes I be having a, a whole lot to say, but I don't want to say it. Because everybody might not be ready for it. But what if... What if... Before they bring out this digital currency or digital ID or anything like that... How long have you been using your debit or credit card? These people ain't just thought of the digital currency or digital ID today. They ain't just think of it last year. They ain't just think of it in 2020. They probably thought about it when they start giving us credit cards and debit cards. Just saying. So as we thinking, oh, this is my credit card, this is my debit card. No, what you, you know, it ain't, think about it. Once upon a time, we used to only use cash. We also only used to use gold. We only used to use cash. We only used to use coins. Now, you got, since the pandemic, you got people who more, to, more, more times than not use their card, not their, not cash. Because they don't want to contract that, you know, what happened in 2020. But... What if they, this was their plan the whole time? And when people say, it ain't gonna happen, what if it's a little too late? Or what if the only thing we have to do now, have left to do to stop them from doing that is have war with them? I'm just asking. Because it doesn't seem like their guidelines is slowing up. It look like they're applying that pressure on us. And it look like we almost about to confide to that. In my opinion. Because you just don't stop something when they already even got their plan halfway done. You're supposed to stop it when they first start the plan. But if we didn't see it then, we're not going to see it when they actually set that and it actually becomes that. We're not going to see it coming. We think we're going to see it coming, but we're going to be so far off that they're going to be on our they're gonna be on our heads before we know it. That's all I'm saying. If we think that this is a new idea, digital currency, really? Come on, man. They been gave people food stamps. That's the same thing as it's almost food stamps and a and a credit card or a debit card mixed into one with some control of them telling us what we can spend it on. That's what it looked like to me. So if we gonna talk about this, we need to like, yeah, we might be too late. We might I said we might be too late. I ain't say we were. We was too late. I'm saying we might, but that's just my thing. I'm pretty sure they been thought about that. I'm talking about decades ago long time ago they've been thought about it so yeah what is that man saying something about Allah sound like about Allah have you ever heard of the Anunnaki these ancient beings from Mesopotamian mythology have been the subject of much fascination and debate in recent years. But what if I told you that some people believe the Anunnaki were real and may have actually played a role in human history? According to this theory, the Anunnaki were a group of extraterrestrial beings who came to Earth thousands of years ago. They were said to be highly advanced, possessing knowledge and technology far beyond anything humans of that time could comprehend. But what did they want with us? Some believe that the Anunnaki were responsible for creating humanity, using genetic engineering to create a hybrid race of humans and their own species. Others believe they simply visited Earth to mine for resources, and may have even taught ancient civilizations like the Sumerians advanced techniques like agriculture and metalworking. While there is no concrete evidence to support the existence of the Anunnaki, their legend has persisted for centuries. Whether they were real or simply a myth, their story continues to captivate and inspire those who seek to understand the mysteries of our past.
First time I heard about the Anunnaki was like 2000, like 15, 2014. First time I heard about Planet Nibiru or Planet X was 2012. First time I heard about that was from a coworker. And he had told me about how it's getting closer and closer and closer. It was about 10 years out. We but we at that 10 year mark now. And now we supposedly seen it. On top of that, when I'm looking at like the Anunnaki, the first person who told me, who well, didn't tell me directly, but I heard them bring that and that idea up was Pharaoh Allah. He was the first person. And when he brought it up, I started connecting the dots then. So now when I'm looking at it and hearing everything, it's just like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, I heard about all this information then, but just now it's starting to all really come together of everything I've heard. So that's where it's like, it's, it's kind of crazy. But I always was told that they was coming back to save us. They was coming back to help. That's what I heard. And I remember hearing that then. I used to be like, bro, they need to hurry up. They need to hurry up because it's going down down here. And that was before 2020. That was like 2011, 2012 when I used to think they need to hurry up. They need to hurry up and come help us, bro. Because it was bad then. It was bad then. So, yeah. I know everybody in media. Y'all ain't spinning with them. The most dangerous leaders had their own media. Frederick Douglass had his own media. Marcus Garvey had his own media. Malcolm X had his own media. Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan had his own media. Noble Drew Ali had his own media. They was able to control the messaging that went to the people. So when we talk about propaganda that's being spread, the propaganda is first spread. They say it takes... 14 to 25 years to start the demoralization of a society because Sun Tzu believed that the best way to win a war was not with a gun or violence no you got to win it non-violently you have to win it in the minds and the heart of the people you have to destroy them so they're no longer connected to something of a higher level but they also have to be susceptible to the messaging in the first place and the reason they said it took 14 to 25 years because those are the generations that are being impressed and programmed during that time. So between those ages of one through seven, you don't think for yourself. You are unconscious. So anything in your environment is programming, shaping, and conditioning you. So by the time you go in and you become older, they got you already. So when we talk about the great customization and personalization of where we at in society, I get people to study where you was at, where the world was at when you was one to seven years old. You think that the way you eat, the way you think, the way you dress, the way you feel is based on you. You've been programmed by the times and the conditions that you grew up in. We at low level, we at high level. <laughs> Y'all don't react enough to 19 Keys, which I watch them a lot. Now, there is a belief that, based on studying the Anunnaki, that they are coming back. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, in all the texts, they always said that they're going to return. The reason why they left was there was a pyramid war. It was a second pyramid war. Amun-Ra, also known as Marduk. You can look up Marduk's name in the Torah. He's in the Bible. He's in the Sumerian tablets. These guys everywhere. He's Amun-Ra. He started a war because he wanted to extend his kingship. He wanted to take over kingship in other areas that he wasn't supposed to on the planet and so forth and so on. So that war was nuclear. The reason why you know it's nuclear because it specifically says that their nails were falling out. Their hair was falling out. Blood was coming out of their eyes. This is radiation sickness. And that war is what really caused them to want to flee. And one of the tablets, Enki goes to Anu and says, can you please stop the evil wind? That's what they call it. That's nuclear fallout. He's like, there's nothing I can do. And so he told him, like, turn around, man. Get in that ship. Yeah, we got to get out of here because this thing is coming. And they said that that evil wind covered the land and killed all the animals, the people, and everything else. And a lot of these people never came back. But they said that, that they'll be coming back and take back claim of the rightful kingship of this planet. Whoa, come back. If you look like me, bro, come back, bro. We need you here. We need that, bro. We need that. But I want to go ahead and say I have I have seen this thing. And I think we reacted to the video, but I also seen another video just recently over the weekend and I shouldn't use the word weekend over these past two days, you know, that we call Saturday, Sunday. Let me get my vocabulary right. But they say that some of our elites or higher ups 
ain't who we think they are. That they look like me. And they want to keep their people down. I'm not going to shut that out. I'm not going to shut that idea down. I'm going to do my due diligence. And I could see that being the case. That's how we, that's how we treat each other. I'm trying to, it's the crabs in the barrel. I'm trying to win so y'all stay down. Like that, that's how our, that's how the black community operates sometimes, especially in the hood. Like that's how it go. So yeah, I have heard that the elites look like me and that they, they main objective is to keep us not knowing the truth. I don't know. There's so much to believe out here and there's so much to be lied about that we've been lied about so or lied to about. So I'm not I'm not quite sure, but I'm not gonna shut that idea down. It's not what I've typically been accustomed to researching or knowing about, but I'm not close minded to the fact that it is possible. But yeah, that's something I just thought about. And yeah, I'm I'm just sitting here like, okay, if they look like me and they come in here to do for the best of this world best of this place we we live on man come back come save this because the people we do have in order they're not handling what they supposed to be handling uh, at 100 miles in the ocean 100 miles how much curvature should there be uh, Six thousand feet okay. it's about six thousand feet of curvature so you so should that, not that be able to see you could see so, no you wouldn't be able to see a hundred miles away from the ocean at a hundred miles there should be six thousand feet of curvature do you don't even understand what that means? I don't. I understand what that means. If we live on a ball that at every hundred miles there should be six thousand feet of curvature. There's there's a formula for it. When you look, uh, there's uh, navy ships that can target other navy ships with lasers a hundred miles away. It would be impossible if there was a six thousand foot curvature of water. Impossible. They take pictures of their target. Pictures at a hundred miles. There's no curvature. It's flat. There should be 6,000 feet of curvature. Alaska Triangle, known for its deep waters down to a staggering 26,000 feet, the perfect place for an underwater alien base. There have been many reports over the past few decades of unidentified underwater objects. These UFOs have been tracked underwater and stayed underwater for a long time, evaded the Navy, and they go so deep that we don't know where they're. I am very convinced that there's some kind of base underwater. According to my sources, there are extraterrestrial bases under the water off the coast of Alaska. It's the perfect place for extraterrestrials to set up underwater bases. You have 33,000 miles of untapped coast and over 3 million lakes. In 1969, Dan Willis, a naval communications operator, decoded a secret message detailing a jaw-dropping UFO sighting. I was a certified high-speed code operator, you know, do 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 yeah, type of thing. I worked at the uh, code room, the naval communications station in San Francisco. I received a secret priority message from a ship that was off the coast of Alaska. The crew reported a brightly glowing reddish-orange elliptical object approximately 70 feet in diameter that emerged out of the ocean and then shot straight up into space. The radar operator tracked the blips going up in excess of 7,000 miles per hour. I have to admit, for a second, I was thinking of taking this secret message, make a copy of it, but I knew if I did, I'd be facing 10 years in prison, so I had a second thought. The incident left him with more questions than answers, prompting him to hunt for more sightings across Alaska's ocean. Dan uncovered multiple similar reports of disc-shaped objects emerging from the ocean near Alaska. One such report from 1945 describes an encounter with a large round object that rose from the sea near the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. The object, estimated to be 150 to 200 feet wide, circled the ship, leaving the crew both mesmerized and uneasy. They witnessed a UFO come up out of the water that was 150 to 200 feet wide, and it started circling the boat. 1945. It was on its own propulsion system. wasn't affected by the wind, the sailors said. It circled around the ship two or three times. Times. All 14 members of the crew witnessed this and reported this when they got back to shore. Mysteriously. <clears throat> the top secret report compiled by the crew never saw the light of day. All the reports that I've researched through, people see things coming up under the ocean and they shoot off at tremendous speeds. Alaska, a land of breathtaking beauty and home to some of the deepest waters on Earth. A fact that might make you pause and wonder what could be lurking in those mysterious depths. <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, because see me, we was looking to move to Alaska, but we heard that the 
certain crimes that happen there ain't really uh to my liking and a lot of people go missing and it would just make a lot of sense if they did have bases there but then again you see a lot of they said a, a lot of alien abductions happen in Alaska Nome Alaska if I'm not mistaken and I think that's where they shot was that Fort Kine so I'm not really I mean it wouldn't be that far off that they got bases under underwater bases there very possible but that does explain possibly why I heard they have they have a lot of sightings and a lot of abductions that can explain a lot of maybe why that is the case but if there's a d abductions then they say our government has like a treaty or something or a deal with with certain species alien extraterrestrial species that will also like abduct like it's okay for the, the government made it okay for them to come and abduct us and do experiments on us is that happening there i don't know possibly but those people on that ship seem like they didn't if it wanted to attack them it would attack them so maybe you got the good and the bad there. Maybe you got some good ones that live there. Maybe you got some bad ones that live there. Who knows? Maybe they just like humans. Got some good humans, got some bad humans. Got some good aliens and some bad aliens. I'm not sure. But that's a good little idea, which I will dive deeper because I do want to move to Alaska. It's either going to be Alaska or it's going to be Arizona. So, Or it might be back to Virginia. But it looks like Alaska or Arizona. That's what it's looking like. It looks like we made it to the end of this one, man. Appreciate you if you stuck this one all the way through. And if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, please, so it can help us grow and so that you always notify when we drop these weekly uploads. But if you love this content, man, go ahead and tell everybody, man, that you be watching this. And let's get this community even bigger, man. Let's 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 get it even bigger. Cause we always open the door to the people who are open minded and on that positive energy. I ain't with that negative. I done lived in it enough. And I ain't trying to meet nobody with that in the real life. Straight up, so I'm trying to keep positive vibes, man. I'm trying to grow as an individual. I'm not trying to stay stuck in the same stuff that I used to be. Again, some of these clips, they could be two years old. Somebody said that it was two years old, and I'm getting them from other creators. Honestly, bro, a lot of these is being sent from y'all. Some of y'all are sending it, and I'm doing my due diligence to find this. And who cares if it's two years old? We never too old to learn. If you are, again, this channel ain't for you. I'm always willing to learn whether I don't know it or if I do know it. It might be another idea I don't know how to think from that perspective as far as the topic that I might know about. But yeah, it's just that negative. So if you like that, man, move around. You want to learn? Come on, join the community. But yeah, with no further ado, I'm going to let y'all go. It's your boy Q, and we up out of here, man. Ah.